Good morning, everyone. It is Vlogmas Day 16. I have the day off, but that doesn't mean I am sitting around doing nothing because there's a lot to do today. So let's get this thing started. Day 16, I'm scared by how fast that's going. I, what is life? Let's see who we have today. Harry Potter, day 16. We have, oh nice, Mad-Eye Moody. Definitely wouldn't be Goblet of Fire without Mad-Eye Moody. So there you go, let's see who am I going to put him with. I guess he can show with Filch. So a lot of big characters left. We need Hermione, we need Cedric. I'm hoping we're going to get a Neville so that Jenny has a date. Can't wait. Well, the pool guys are here. Foster gets so ferocious. Look at his little mohawk up. <laughs> oh, I will murder him. Colby's not bothered. Colby likes to hang with the pool guys if we let him. Dad, you are emasculating me. That is the point. But I am ferocious. I kind of already emasculated you. <laughs> In case you don't remember that day. Don't make it worse, Dad. <laughs> Dad, I am ferocious guard dog. Where are you? Yes. Isn't it obvious? Come on, look at me. Ferocious guard dog. Maybe you can ride in on Colby. <laughs> like pushback. Colby's like, what in the world is happening? <laughs> Silly boys. Oh. <laughs> I didn't do day one on Galaxy. I know. He did day one of Maltesers earlier, so now he's going for day one of Galaxy. We, we gotta catch up. A lot of days to catch up on. It's the Santa head. Yay, Santa. Are you happy now, Bean? You scared off the pool guy, he's gone. You did your job, you protected us. You feel better now? Well, Colby doesn't apparently. What's up with you? Why are you whiny? Because you're still locked inside? Can you tell how dark it is right now? <laughs> For the record, it's 1140 a.m. but we have one of the cold front bands flying through right now so we were close to 80 degrees yesterday which i hate when texas does this this is something it does sometimes in december where it goes back and forth between 80 and 50 and this is one of those times so we were about 80 degrees yesterday we're gonna drop today and we'll be in highs in the 50s in the next two days cozy boy one cozy boy two Cozy Boy 1's ears has gone up. What do you think I'm saying? So the temperature has definitely dropped outside. Just got near the back door and I could feel how much colder it was. So that's awesome. Love cold weather around Christmas time. But now I'm going off to do my errands. I'm gonna go to the post office, pick up those packages. I have a little shopping to do. I am hoping to go get a pedicure. So I was just thinking about the fact that last year, around this time, we had our slumber party with Erica and Michael over at our house. And Erica and I wanted to do that again this Christmas because we had so much fun having a little pajama party in our games. But, pause that thought, I just got to the post office and oh my gosh, almost every single parking spot is full. I'm scared of how long it's gonna take me to get these packages. <laughs> Woo, here we go, but my last thought was Eric and I wanted to do that again this year. And I think you guys know Eric and I met at my first job here in Houston. And then she left and started working where I currently work. So she let me know that the position that I have now was open. So I interviewed for it. So now we work at the same place again, uh, but we work in two different departments. However, she has been just as busy as I have. So when we looked at the calendar, there was no weekend where we both were available. So we're going to try to do that in January. So I don't know if it'll be in the vlog because it might be during that week that I take off from vlogging, but we are still gonna have our Christmas pajama party. It's just gonna be in January. <laughs> uh, the post office struggles continue. Okay, so 
two parts. If you are not in the US and you sent me a Christmas card, I have your cards over here. It's, so far it's been Sarah, Annalise, and Lisa, where I need international stamps. The self-serve kiosk has been down for over a week now, as far as I know. Maybe it's just down whenever I show up, <laughs> who knows. And again, today the line was out the door. So I love you guys, but not enough to spend 40 minutes in line for some stamps. So yours might come after Christmas, but I already have them written. They're sitting here. I just need a chance to buy the stamps for US people who wrote me cards. I just mailed yours off. Part two was I went up to the window to pick up my packages since I had the pink slips. And I had two that I picked up on Saturday, two pink slips. And there was one in there today. Walked up at 125 and I just got to my car at 148. So it took 23 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I walked out with two packages. She assured me that the two slips that I got on Saturday were both duplicates and that's from Sammy. I'm hoping that's accurate. And then the other one is a Bones coffee box. So I'm assuming that's from Jennifer again. Maybe we got some more Christmas coffee. We'll see. I'll open it when I get home later. And I'll open the package from Sammy. And so hopefully there's not a missing package somewhere in there. But the saga continues at this post office. All right. Time to go on Hallmark. And let's see if I can find a few little items. I'm trying to see if there's anything we need for our tree this year. They do have a Moscow Mule ornament, which is my favorite drink. Hmm, that's pretty cute, the Jack Skellington one. Why would you want Negan on your Christmas tree? <laughs> And I scared myself by playing that because it's super, super, super loud. I made myself jump. <laughs> Don, you need this one. I love it. Are pound puppies coming back? Oh my gosh. Did you guys have pound puppies? I definitely did. And I remember getting the pound puppies where the puppy was pregnant. I guess he wasn't a puppy at that point. <laughs> but you got the mom and you got different puppies inside. You didn't know what puppies you were getting until you opened her up. It sounds kind of gruesome, but it was really cute. Oh my gosh, pound puppies. You know I'm grooving right now. Oh yeah. So I opened the one box because it was obvious what it was on the outside. And I have to assume this is from Jennifer because she sent us the last Bones coffee for my birthday. And I have a feeling that she ordered in order to get me this mug because she knows how much I love gingerbread. And this mug is amazing. Mike can keep this one that came with my birthday package, but this one is definitely mine. Some gingerbread man, some white chocolate peppermint bark, and then the Christmas candy land, which we did not have that in the first package. So excited to try it. And these are like the full size bags, so. Yes. So I'm in here talking to Mike and Colby's distracted because my phone is making me so triggered by any sort of light. Remember when we did the shadow monster with him and I learned my lesson so I never do it, but now I'm just standing here and my phone is just reflecting a little bit, little bit of light on the ceiling. See, Foster's interested in the phone. Colby's like, nope, don't care about the phone. All I care is that little bit of light it's reflecting. <laughs> And I am obsessive. I forgot to show, but there's my new, there's my new pedicure. Oh, hi, Ash. Nice Christmas color, and I made my appointment to get my manicure with my favorite nail lady for Wednesday, because she's gonna, she actually can do designs and stuff, so I'm gonna do something Christmassy on my fingernails, but got my Christmassy toes now. So it's a bit later in the day. I had a phone conversation with my mom for a while. I did some cleaning. So now I'm gonna open the package that Sammy sent us and see what's inside. First item is blurry. A little cactus ornament from Primark, of course. Primark, the home of everything adorable. There was a card, but the cactus basically jumped out at me, so I had to I had to pull that one out first. So, so here is the note from Sammy. And she says I have to share the snacks with Mike, so I guess, I guess I will. So let's see what else is in here. Ooh, 
She knows I love my gummies. Tropical mango sounds amazing. Candy kittens, I think I'm gonna have to try one of those immediately because we have given up on any semblance of doing full keto anymore. It's gone, it's done, it's over <laughs> until January. Let's see what's next. Aw, little Olaf. So it's a fun and fruity surprise egg. Is this like the Kinder eggs where you get something inside? It does rattle. I will have to check that out at some point. Hmm, see what's inside. I saw a Mickey. Oh my gosh. It's gotta be Primark again, right? Because it's gotta be. <gasps> Ooh, it's a manicure set. I thought it was a little wallet. I think I need do I need two hands for this? No. <gasps> Look at that. That is so cute. Such a good little travel kit. Oh, that will definitely get used. All right, we've got one more. One more item. <laughs> she did say there was something familiar in the Crispy S'more package. So you know what? One will go on my stocking, one will go on Mike's. He said I had to share with Mike. He can have this snowman. That's what I'm allowing him to have. <laughs> oh, my favorite part of her note was that this is a cactus and not a pickle with arms and it does kind of look like a pickle with arms now that I look at it. <laughs> so thank you Sammy. If you guys haven't already heard me talk about Sammy, you need to go check out her channel. She and I originally met through YouTube, through my channel, and then she started her own channel and then we met at Halloween Horror Nights this past year and had a blast hanging out for one of the nights. I'll put the link to that vlog here too. Absolutely love Sammy. She lives in Scotland and she's a vlogger as well now so. Go check her out, go watch the vlog of us together. It was a blast. So now I'm deciding whether I want to do dinner or wrap gifts first because Mike is out of the house. He's off playing poker. I realized that for the sake of the vlogs, you guys might not know Mike's history with playing poker. And so that might be like a random new thing for you guys, but he used to be a somewhat professional poker player and then kind of dropped that by the wayside in recent years. But there's a new thing popping up around Houston with these poker rooms. So he's been playing poker again and he loves it and he's really good at it. I told him I was gonna be wrapping Christmas gifts. He's like, perfect, I'll go play poker. I won't see any gifts, it works out great. I'm gonna wrap gifts while he's gone so he can't see anything. We are doing the stocking thing, but you know, gotta wrap some items to put in the stocking so that there's some mystery there. We are in the spot for the Santa hat. Did I just, did my eyes just blink as if the Santa hat was going to attack me when my own hand was the one taking it to my face? When I say I didn't play sports because my reflexes are way too intense, that's exactly why. I can't handle sports. <laughs> Dance was the only one I could do. First of all, before I go into the hat, I've been wanting to mention this and I keep forgetting to do it because I'm bad at this. I'm bad at self-promotion. And at this point, it's too late <laughs> for you to get any items before Christmas. But I did want to mention the fact that I do have merch these days. First time I've ever had merch and I mentioned it once in a weekly vlog at the end of the weekly vlog series for 2019. But I wanna mention it here just in case my loyal viewers somehow missed that vlog and you don't know that I have merch. I think there's four designs on there right now, two more general Disco Liz shirts and two Disco Liz Halloween shirts. There are more designs in the works for 2020, but the link is down below to the shop. Sadly, Spreadshirt's not doing any sort of deals right now because it's Christmas and they're making probably way too much money to offer any sort of discounts, but I did want to say, you know, if you're hunting for that last Christmas gift or hunting for that last Christmas gift for yourself, I do have shirts. So link is down below. Check them out. I need to be better about being okay self-promoting. It's not really my style and so thus I'm bad at it. And I've had shirts for two months now and that's my second plug for them. So shirts down below, last minute Christmas shopping. There you go. Now let's do the hat. Let's see what we're going to discuss tonight. So this one's from Orlando Obsessed, and I've been dreading this one because <laughs> it should be an easy one, but it's not. What is your favorite Christmas song? I get crippled with choice. I'm gonna cheat and use my phone because I have a Christmas playlist. I'm going to pick a few of my favorites because I can't possibly just pick one. So let's consult the old iTunes here. So I like a lot of the more traditional Christmas. Um, I definitely love the Christmas slash Sarajevo 1224 by Trans-Siberian Orchestra. I mean, newer classic, but a classic nonetheless. I love Sleigh Ride. We played Sleigh Ride a lot in band, so it brings back a lot of great memories of band. 
this classic, the Christmas song, Nat King Cole version. Fantastic. Definitely that version of Jingle Bells by Frank Sinatra. And of course, you knew it was coming. Obviously Mariah Carey, every single song by Mannheim Steamroller. Clearly I'm not good at picking one. There's so many great ones out there and I just love Christmas music. I love this time of year and I like to save Christmas music for December so that I savor the entire month, but it makes me so sad when Christmas season is over and the radio stations just go back to normal and there's no more holiday music. So I'm gonna do gift wrapping He's okay. and I've put on the holiday. I saw this in theaters when it came out and I remember not liking it. Curious to see how I feel about it all these years later. So, the holiday. Let the wrapping begin. I got this new blanket today and I opened it and Foster's just looking at me like yes for me is that for me does that get the beam seal of approval I think it does all right I'm gonna finish up and I'm gonna come snuggle with you okay give me a moment oh looky there our tree has stuff under it <laughs> since my parents and Mike's parents don't have stockings from us I just put their stuff in gift bags and then the two boxes are for Mike. But now our tree isn't bare anymore. Yay! So wrapping is done. All my mess is put away. Now I am going to watch Gilmore Girls. I've been holding off on watching this episode because it's one of my favorite episodes in the entire series. Season three, episode seven. They shoot Gilmores, don't they? It's the Stars Hollow dance marathon episode, AKA the episode when Rory and Jess finally get together. I'm excited and ready for it. Yes. I can't wait. Team Jess forever. All right, let's end the night with the calendars. Got Sugar Fina. Day 16, there's a butterfly on it. What do we have? Aw, baby butterflies. These sweet baby butterflies flutter in flavors of strawberry, lemon, apple, and raspberry. Ooh. Well, aren't those pretty? So sweet. For these calendars, day 16, Maltesers, we have a teddy bear. There he is. For the galaxy, we have another Santa face. I just had Santa yesterday. We got another Santa today. Okay guys, so that's gonna be the end of this vlog for me. I need to sign off and edit this because I go back to work tomorrow. So I will see you guys again for day 17. Bye. <laughs>